Hi, I'm Bill. I'm Terry. Welcome to our kitchen table. Um, this is a brand new show we came out with. We're owners of TNT Hobby Shop in Southridge, Massachusetts. We've been there, it's going on with third year? Yeah. Three years we've been there. I'm going to bring our experience to you, what we learned, go over different stuff every week. Um, so here's the structure of the show. We come in, we're going to say hi really quick. We're going to jump to the news. Um, you hit it and quit it, guys. I'm going to tease you with the title. You, you want to just see what the difference in this is? I'm going to tell you the big stuff right away. So you can, you can go on to your next movie. Um, if people want to stick around, we're going to get into a further discussion about it. Um, so that said, we're going to jump right into the news. He's back. Traxxas Bigfoot is sporting a new red, white, and blue paint scheme. This week, TLR releases a new AX race kit. According to TLR, they completely redefined its racing platform. Hangar 9 checks in with the Hellcat 15cc Sports Scale a ARF. Blade is spreading its wings this week, introducing its new Fusion 84 helicopter kit. Based on the TLR22 racing platform, the new Low Seat 22S is coming ready to run. Not even nighttime will stop you with the new Traxxas Bronco light kit. Following suit and now available, Traxxas is offering the Bandit Buggy in a new red or blue paint scheme. Yeah, I like what they're doing with those old colors too. Yes. M41 looks pretty sweet. It does. All right, you hit it and quit it, guys. Subscribe to us. Share this with your buddies because we're going to do this with a lot of shows. How's it going to be set up? Um, just the main differences with the sport versus the other three are the differentials will not unlock and it only has a single speed transmission. So the speed it goes is what it goes. Um, it happens to be faster than all three of these in low range. These three are a little quicker in high range. So right off the bat we had the Sport, this is right out of the box, there's the wheels on it, that's what it looks like. Nice looking truck, not licensed, um, you're saving some money because it's not an actual Ford, Chevy, Toyota, whatever. Um, that's a nice looking truck, we ran this for a couple days at the hobby shop, still going great. Hasn't shut off yet. Um, next. This here is the Defender. Um, it is missing the gas cans. I'm going to throw a stock photo up so you can see what it looks like with the accessories. Uh, some stuff up here when you buy it. No. Um, thank you, Cody. This is his. This is his. He lets borrow him for the shoot. So that's what it looks like. Nice looking truck. Was a, probably the most popular one. Um, so that's that one. Tactical unit. Um, does not come with a light bar. That's added on. I'll uh, throw a stock picture of that up too. That's what she looks like. Comes with a blackjack. He's got a red one. But these are the tires. And my favorite, which I used to have when I was a kid, is the Bronco. Thank you, Mr. Ragu, for this. <laughs> he, uh, Rich, he's a local of the hobby shop. Um, beautiful truck out of the box. And it has more of the raised chrome, uh, a little more scale look, I think, than even the uh, Defender is. And that's just what they look like. Time to rip the bodies off. All right, we got the bodies ripped off them um, really fast. I just want to show you all these have this battery tray inside of them. It'll accept a large battery. This is like an 8700 mAh. Fits right in there. Weight's an issue. That's a heavy battery. Run forever, but it's heavy. 2500 fits. They got a little case down there for it. Works really good. So any of these can do that. You can run three cells in any of these. This has the HV XL5 speed controller. So you run a three cell with your brush motor, it's not an issue, they designed it for that. The truck itself, uh, this is probably the easiest one to change the body on, I'd imagine. You change your body on these, this one, you're not losing nothing. That's the inside of the body. Um, they don't have the big fender wells like the other one does. So it's really kind of plug and play if you get a pickup. You get a Jeep, you just put those right. big posts in there, you can order those. Yeah. Um, 
that's it. You'll notice there's no, it's a lot cleaner in here. There's no servos because it's single speed, all that stuff. And that's the sport model. That'll come stock red or blue, right? Come stock red or blue, yes. <laughs> what do you got here? The fender? Yes. The defender now. Looks a little different. Obviously, it's a SUV style. This one, bam, that's what's unlocking and differentials the whole time. Locking them. This one's for your two speed, which I love that function. I wish they had the two speed on the sport, it'd be a perfect truck. Um, this one has a few weights on it. These are a little used by my customers. You change the end on it. But this is this is the basic truck. The body for this one, however, you want to change the body on this, you lose what you paid for with the protection inside. See all your fender wells? They sell this body in clear, you can repaint it, make any color you want. I'm sure maybe there's bodies that fit it. It's just, it's, I'm sure your selection is low. If you can find one at all, that's, that's different. So say you got this, you want to make a pickup out of it, you're going to lose probably all your protection that you paid for. That's the Defender. So we have the tactical. Tactical. Same transmission, same servos. This guy is Cody's. He likes lights. He's got a bunch of lights in. Did a nice job with that. That's what that looks like. Not a hell of a lot of difference between the two. Uh, the body, obviously, is different. Not licensed, I don't believe, so you're saving money there. And that's the inside of it. So again, you want to change the body on this, you're probably going to lose, and it holds your uh, accessories on there too. So you're going to lose stuff that you, you spent the extra money to get if you want to change your body on this one. Last. But not least. The Bronco. This is the this is the one that's more completely different. This is the one that actually why I wanted to do the video. Um, Rich came in trying to fit a body up on it, and then we started looking at it. It's, it's difficult because <laughs> you got to have these fender walls on it. These the shocks and everything mount through your fender walls. Um, you can cut them up and everything, um, but if you want to change your body. You're like I don't like the Bronco. This is probably not the one you want to start with. This is the one we took the battery box out of too. So that's what it would look like. Um, but they all look the same, the ones that have the, the shifting ability inside. Um, the nice part about this one, we can run this small pack in the front of it. Put it right in there. Now you got your weight in the front. That's a nice feature. The other two, the other two that you ship don't have that. None of them have that. So they thought a little bit ahead with this one too. Uh, what else is different? And some other little things, nothing, nothing major. This is just a buyer's guide. But if you want to change your body, you don't like the Bronco, I'd probably stay away from this one. Um, you want two speeds, you want to change the body, you're probably better off with the tactical because it's cheaper. Or get a kit, you don't like the body, they sell these in kit form. And then you get your own body form. And the kit's based on the Defender like it was original, so whatever the fender had, um, that's what you get. Underneath, all these trucks are basically the same from what I see, from a buyer's guide perspective. Um, it's adjustable, a lot of adjustability on the wheelbase, which is nice. But again, you, you, you're kind of stuck with the body unless you want to spend a lot of time and money on it. So it's up to you. These ends are changed. But this is a basic stock truck. And that's a little under the hood of them. Now, what do you want to do next? Look at the radios, how's that? Because right. the radio is a big difference. Radios look completely different, right? This is the sports. This has the least functions available. This is a great little radio. It comes in your, your rustlers, your brush rustlers, uh, like a stampede brush. The radio is going to find them. Nothing wrong with it. It's just going gonna, gonna to do its job. Um, this one, because that one has because the other three have uh, two speeds and you can unlock your differentials. People think you're locking your differentials. The Sport comes locked fully all the time. What this feature lets you do is unlock the differentials so when you go in second gear and you're going fast, it'll turn and not want to flip over on here and not push and skip around. 
And it's nice crawling too, because sometimes you don't want to have have your have your diffs locked. You get in that tight spot and it just pulls you over. Yeah. So this is your high low range on the radio. And this is what will determine whether you lock your differentials or unlock your differentials. Um, and that's the difference in radios. So there's our opinions. Put the bodies back on them, show you how they look. One last time again, this light bar don't come with this. He had that on. That's There's a pro accessories line. on that. There is accessories on this. I'll put some stock photos up. And please subscribe to us if you like what you saw. Comment below on what you'd like to see more of, less of, any whatever you want. And we'll uh, incorporate that into the show because you guys want this shows for you. Right. Uh, what's your favorite truck? Look why is this? Like the Bronco the best? Yes. But to drive, you like really to drive the, yes. yeah, I, I know she'd say this one. She's been, <laughs> she's been driving it since we got the thing. But the Bronco is, is just so beautiful. This was my least favorite, but out of the box is... Looks better much, out of the box? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, <laughs> online everything doesn't always look the same. We learned that at the shop. Um, if you're in Massachusetts, come down to TNT Hobby or subscribe to us on this if you would. We need some more subscribers. Share this video and please let us know what you want to change and we'll, we'll incorporate that for you. Thanks. Thank you.